Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, I hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. I reckon the NRLW returned with an absolute bang last weekend. And me personally as well, I got myself three from three. Uh, I thought the game of the round was Newcastle versus Brisbane. Yeah, there were a few more errors compared to Eels Roosters contest. But I thought the way that the Knights and Broncos teams just got stuck into one another on Sunday evening out there in Newcastle was was just awesome man so let's get stuck into round two of the 2022 NRLW season. Round two of the 2022 NRLW season kicks off on Saturday afternoon from Suncorp Stadium at 1 10 p.m. The Brisbane Broncos host the Sydney Roosters and sportsbet.com.au have the Sydney Roosters as the favourites, $1.37 to the Brisbane Broncos, $3.10. Both of these sides are largely unchanged. Just the one change in amongst it all. Uh, Brianna Clark comes in uh, onto the bench, uh, removing uh, Jasmine Fogafini from the Brisbane Broncos side. But besides that, it's all unchanged from last weekend. Uh, the Brisbane Broncos, I felt, really uh, showed that they were missing Tamika Upton's class. Now, that's no disrespect to Jamie Chapman, but I just think they really showed that they were missing the class of Tamika Upton. Samantha Bremner, Samantha Bremner though, at fullback for the Sydney Roosters, she had class all over the park every time she got near the ball. And Isabel Kelly, in particularly inside that first 20 minutes, was just barnstorming. She was absolutely electric. Uh, I think the the combination of Kelly and Jessica Sergis, when I look at the Brisbane Broncos centres of Chiselka and Amy Turner, I think they've got the wood on them just on paper, even though Chiselka is a Queensland State of Origin representative as well. I look at the Ford pack and I think the the, the Brisbane Broncos Fords were outmuscled uh, and defeated comfortably uh, last weekend against the Newcastle Knights uh, and the Sydney Roosters. Uh, they, they were impressive, obviously, the Ford Pack in their own right. I think this is going to be super close at $3.10. That's pretty nice value on the Broncos and they'd be steaming, they'd be seething after only conceding their fourth loss ever in their entire history as a club. Um, so they're going to be up for this contest and the Sydney Roosters need to bring it. Um, and I think just the some some of the kicking options from Ali Brigginshaw and uh, uh, Taryn Aitken was um, left a left a little bit to be desired last weekend. Too, uh, too many times they, they tried for the, uh, the chip kick. I think they just needed to get more territory uh, and, and box in the Newcastle Knights, but that, that's not... Uh, what they did, but um, uh, really, really tough game to pick this one. I think this is the game of the round as well, just quietly. Uh, I think I'm going to pick um, the Sydney Roosters just based off of their premiership credentials as well. That's obviously not to discredit the Broncos premiership uh, credentials as well, but um, yeah, I think I'll go the Sydney Roosters in this one. Uh, just 1 to 12. I think this will be super, super close. Game number two is from Combank Stadium on Sunday afternoon. From midday, it's the Parramatta Eels hosting the St. George Illawarra Dragons and the Parramatta Eels, the home side, are outsiders at $4 and the St. George Illawarra Dragons are $1.25. For the Parramatta Eels, the youth keeps on coming for them. Uh, Zali Faye replaces Abby Church. Uh, Penitani uh, remains in the side. Uh, Rakia Horn and Tess Staines remain. So it's Abby Church out. Zali Faye comes in to make her NRLW debut. And uh, in the 5'8 position, AFLW convert Brooke uh, Morgan Walker. Uh, she is out. She's been dropped. Taylor Preston comes in to make her debut as well. Uh, and then on the interchange bench, uh, Ruby Jean Kennard comes into the side in jersey number 17 for Rima Butler and Ruby Jean Kennard is going to be making her debut as well. So three more debutantes this weekend for the Parramatta Eels uh, after blooding three uh, or more uh, NRLW debutantes uh, last weekend. Uh, so some, some inexperience, uh, especially in the halves, uh, in, in some key positions again this weekend. And for the Central Jillawarra Dragons, Elsie Albert, 
blockbusting. Elsie Albert is back this weekend. She was named to play last weekend, but she was a late withdrawal. So she comes in and it was Kezia Yaps that filled in that front row position, but she moves back to her natural position of second row, meaning that uh, Talai Holmes uh, reverts back to the bench and it's Renee Target uh, that misses out on playing this weekend. Uh, the Dragons were never headed against the Gold Coast Titans, in my opinion, and they showed just how dangerous and how hard they are going to be to beat this year, uh, in this season. And for the Parramatta Eels, I thought credit to them, uh, even though they are in ex arguably the most inexperienced side in the NRLW competition, um, they showed tremendous courage to stick with the Sydney Roosters for as long as they did. They just started way too slowly and who knows if they start a little bit quicker, maybe the score line is a lot less different. And look, for and against in the NRLW is so vital, uh, considering it's such a short season. Uh, and they're at the bottom of the ladder, Parramatta Eels, because they got pumped uh, by 22 odd points. So they need to rectify uh, the for and against, and they need to be better defensively as well, in particularly the start to the game this weekend against the Dragons. But it's a really hard start. Um, for the Parramatta Eels going back to back against the grand finalists of the 2022 NRLW season uh, last year or earlier this season. Uh, the Dragons should not be headed again. They should win this one by 13 plus. The final game of round two is from Seabus Super Stadium on Sunday evening. It is the Gold Coast Titans hosting the Newcastle Knights and the Newcastle Knights are supremely short at $1.20 to the Gold Coast Titans, the home side, $4.50. Man, that is massive. That's massive on the Titans, but the Newcastle Knights were incredibly impressive getting their first ever win uh, in NRLW history against the Brisbane Broncos of all clubs. They were really impressive. Um, the Gold Coast Titans are unchanged from one down through to seven. Um, You've got the likes of Roxy Murdoch, who's been replaced by Haley J. Ormond Mornsell. I believe that's her debut. Please correct me if I'm wrong, and I apologize if I am wrong. Uh, and Tasman Gray is still out with an ankle injury, but that forward pack of the Titans, Marto, Hancock, uh, Rastrand Smith, and Georgia Hale, that's they're still massive um, uh, in the forward pack for sure, but um, they're still they're just lacking a little bit of experience coming off of the interchange bench. Uh, and then the Newcastle Knights, man, what a disappointment. Uh, Hannah Southwell, uh, with speedy recovery to her, she did her ACL uh, in the opening 10, 15 minutes of that game last Sunday um, against the Broncos, and she's out for the, for, for, for the year. Uh, she won't be playing in the World Cup, which is a massive blow for uh, the Gillaroos. Uh, so uh, that, that's a massive blow for the Knights' is, um, uh, premiership push this year as well because uh, I've got them as a as the dark horse and so do many others as well. Um, massive shout out to young 17-year-old halfback debutant Jesse Southwell. Holy crap, man. That's as good as a debut can get. She absolutely killed it. But I think the, the help that she got on her inside from Kira Dibb, who was sensational in her own right last Sunday. Um, the, this halves pairing, like it's only been one game, but gee whiz, they look good. Um, you've still got Caitlin Johnston and Millie Boyle, Romy Teitzel, man, she killed it as well in her own right. Um, I think this is gonna be a closer game, man. I, $4.50, that's, that's a little bit of disrespect um, on the Titans. Um, but although they, they, they just weren't, as I said before, they weren't in that game at all last, last week um, against the St. George Laura Dragons. Um, I'm going to go Newcastle Knights to win this one, 1-12. to 12. Um, I just, yeah, I, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Um, well, that's it for me, guys. Um, hopefully, I can get three from three again. Um, what, what, what have you thought about the NRLW season so, um, uh, from last week and um, who are you tipping this weekend as well? So um, thank you all very much for tuning in and I'll, I'll speak to you um, over the next couple of days. Adios.